Hi, and welcome back to Pixie's Projects, or welcome in if you're new. Um, today, we are going to do another episode, part, I'm not sure what you want to call it, but of fun size coloring. And I'm using my Stetler Design Journey pencils because my friend Jackie from Instagram, um, they're called Spare Room Studio. You should look, look her up because her, her, her Instagram is amazing. Um, but she asked if I would do a little bit about the Stetler Design Journey pencils. So I'm going to combine the two things because I, I don't really do swatch videos or a lot of time talking about different pencils, which in a little while I'm going to be doing some videos on stuff like that as well. But we're going to use Stetler Design Journey pencils and we're going to do something in 30 Days of Creativity for our, you know, fun size coloring. Less than 20 minutes or 30 minutes and get something done. Um... I've purposely picked this page. It's uh, underwater type stuff, and that's the kind of stuff I enjoy. And I think what we're gonna do is this crab up here. Um, so I'm gonna move you in. Oh, sorry about that. There we go, you're moved in. And I think we're gonna get started. I've done a couple things with the Design Journey pencils before this, just to get used to them. Um, cause I wanted to see how I felt about them so I could give an honest opinion about what I think. And yeah, they're not bad at all. So we're going to go ahead and get started and I've not used them in a Joanna Bassford book. So that's going to be new too. Um, right now I'm just looking for the pencil I want because they're in my box or my, uh, pencil case. It's one of the big zippered ones. And I forgot I changed how they were ordered. I put them in by numerical order instead of color order. Because they'd be easier to find. But I forgot about it. So, oops, sorry, I knocked the camera. And there we go. Alright, so I'm just going to start with this crab. And, yeah, they're a harder pencil. And they sharpen very nicely. And they hold a point for quite a while, so those are the things I can tell you right off the bat about these pencils. Um, I am getting a video up for, I believe it was Doodle Robot who asked me, and if I'm wrong, I'll, I'm sorry, but I think that's who it was. I don't want to stop coloring since we are on a timer. Um, but yeah, they had asked me to show the different Stetler pencils and explain what I feel are the differences between them. So that is a video that's going to come up soon um, because I have the Design Journeys, I have the Ergosofts, the Ergosofts Aquarelle, and the Stetler Triangular Pencils. And I used to have the Norris Pencils, but I had gotten rid of them. So I'll talk more about that when I do that video. But right now, I am just coloring in this crab all with this orange. Because I do want to see how the color builds up on this. Um, so we could have a bit of a flop, you know, because I'm not... I've not used these in a Joanna Bassford book yet. So here we go. But, yeah, we're going in with orange. These pencils have no names, but they do have numbers. And I I can't be fussed about not having names. It doesn't really bother me in the least. Just as long as there's some identifying feature. So there's our, it's number 42. That's what we have for numbers on these. Um, and I'm making this color combo up as I go. So if it's not exactly what I want, then... I'll have to do some correction on it too. I've thought about pre-planning these and like getting my colors planned out and deciding what I want everything to be beforehand. But I also feel like that's too rehearsed and I think we lose something. Like I think a lot of the times, or I remember when I started coloring, when I'd watch YouTube videos and people would, and it was way back in the day too, so... um but when people would do videos and it was just like they seamlessly went from one color to another, which I now know from doing YouTube, a lot of it's editing or 
they do what I was just talking about, like plan out their pages completely and then just come in and do the stuff. Um, I used to think that they were, it was much easier for them to come up with colors, the people who were doing that. And I don't necessarily believe that's the case. I think it's more because it was so planned out or so edited, which is a good thing because a lot of people just want to come in and know what you did. Um, but it made me feel like, well, I can't possibly do this because I don't know how to, you know, get my colors together or whatever. Or you didn't see the struggle. And I think sometimes the struggle helps somebody else who's struggling to realize, okay, it takes every, well, not everybody, but a lot of people, quite a few minutes to figure stuff out. It's not instantaneous. So I'm leaving the struggling in, not that I'm struggling right now, but conceivably in the near future I could be. I might back myself into a corner, we never know. I don't feel like this pencil is sharp enough for what I'm doing, but I'm doing it anyway. I really don't, this is personal, I get agitated with the noise of the pencil sharpeners and videos. Um, and I get you have to sharpen your pencils. It's just, for me personally, it's a an extra noise that I don't enjoy. So I'm trying to avoid doing it. Because, you know, they say don't do what you don't like. So there we are. Um, but yeah, I'm just darkening up what we had already added to this. If you have these pencils and you're coloring along with me, um, the first one was number 42. And this one is number 24. But that being said, you also don't need these pencils. You don't need this book. If you're just trying to color a crab in any book, really. You can color along with me. Um, the first orange was like a yellow orange. And then we've just added this. It's a orangey red, I would say, more than a red orange. Um, so that's our second color. And then I'm going to go in with a, it looks like a basic red. And this is number two, if you're doing design journey pencils. And I'm just deepening up the color on my crab. I thought about, I live fairly close to Maryland, and I thought about doing a Maryland blue crab, because I've done one before, but that crab was like half a page and a half of a page in a a book so I had plenty of room to get a lot of color blends in because I like went and looked up what blue crab really look like and you know there's blues and browns and greens and even a little bit of red and pink this crab's not going to take all that so I thought we'd just make that red crab you're just used to seeing And they're layering really nice. And so far they appear to feel very nice on this paper. I think sometimes that, I can tell you it feels nice to me, but it might not feel nice to you. I think sometimes it's a matter of like just how you feel about it. But these are working for me. And I'll say that as I color this crab, I am starting to think about the background on him because, well, that's what I do while I'm coloring. Sometimes I, I zone out. It's impossible to zone out trying to do these videos. Um, I have to kind of stay here with you. So <laughs> I'm starting to think ahead to the next bit and... Yeah, we've got a red-orange crab. You could pull out a color wheel. I don't know if you guys use those frequently or not. I tend to enjoy having them. But the opposite of the red would be green. I'm definitely not doing a green background. Um, but I'm probably going to wind up, honestly, with a, a teal. Because, well, he's got like little shells and fern things. He's kind of underwater. So... We'll go that way. How's everybody doing today? I hope, you know, you're having a good day or evening, whatever time it is where you are. 
I'm trying to get these videos out at least once a week. I didn't do one last week because I did the Hello Kitty art set <laughs> that I got for Valentine's Day. I did a, a quick video showing my, myself coloring with those art supplies. <laughs> um, so if you haven't seen that and you'd like to, um, try to link it in the description or put it up above. Okay, so that was my regular red. And now I'm just going to take a darker red and just get a little more shading in there. And then I'll come back with that original orangey yellow or yellowy orange more. And then the crab will be done. And the color is, it's going on very smooth. Um, if you have the Faber-Castell black, and I'm, I'm honestly thinking, like I said, Jackie asked me to do something about the design journey, show what I think of them or whatever. Um, so I'm thinking about what she owns. I know she has the Faber-Castell black. I feel like these are a harder pencil than the blacks, but they feel nicer to me um to me the blacks kind of lost a point a little faster and they were a little bit more smudgy which is a nice thing you know like um by no means am i calling them prismacolors um i know people use that as a, a an idea for like something when it's smudgy um but they are smudgier than the harder pencils I like the colors in the Faber-Castell black ones a lot. And they are wonderful on dark paper. And they have a lot of pigment and they're really bright. These, I think, are more muted. Obviously, there's 72 of these, I think. And don't quote me on it, but I believe... If it's different, I'll change it in the video. But I believe there's uh, 36 of the Faber-Castell blacks. Um... So you obviously don't have as much of a range of colors, but what you do have in this is pretty good. Once I get this part colored, I'll take a look at my swatch sheet again, just to get a better idea what to say about what's happening with these pencils. Like what colors you have and the options. And you can hear, I think, the hardness of them. But I'm not, you know, I've got my hand way up on the pencil. I'm not doing a lot of pressure or anything. I'm just lightly layering the colors. And it seems to be working pretty nice. Okay, so if I look at... The swatches, we, we got a good, decent amount of purples. And, well, not purples, blues and greens, sorry. And there's a nice selection of browns. And I don't know if my swatch chart makes any sense to anybody, but it, it works for me. So there's that. Um, so now I'm going back in with the original color, which was, I believe, 42. And again, you don't need these pencils to color along. You use whatever you want. We're just going back over everything. And I do try to go in the opposite direction of how I originally went when you can. Like, obviously, in the little bottom of the crab's leg, I can't change. Well, I guess I could, but I can't change direction. Somebody probably could. Um, so they blend nicer. And I just want to get him nice and saturated. I'm not, again, not pressing hard. I don't even have a, a sheet behind it because I'm not worried about it. That's how lightly I'm coloring. I just want to get him colored in. So I don't have a lot to talk about today as far as, like, personal stuff or anything. Um, I'm finally off my medication for my sinus infection. It seems to be much better. So hopefully I'll be able to film more. 
and I know I'm doing this the day that I'm actually going to put it up. Um, in the future, I think what I'm going to do is just say what day it is when I start. So, you know, you're getting like background information from like the past because I'm just going to get a gray and a black for the eyeballs. I don't know what color. Nine, number nine. Okay, so I've got a black and a gray. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm just going to like let everybody know what date it is because I uh, film these and then post them in the order that seems most natural. And then I find out later that I'm posting... I'm going to use this for these little designs, too. Um, posting them out of the order that I film them. So, like, the last few I did, I was posting about having a sinus infection. And then posting about the meds. But they were out of order when I when I did them. And so it's just the information might be different each time. So I think I'll just date the videos as far as letting you know what day it is when I'm filming. So, there's our little crabby guy. And I'm going to go ahead and use the same black and gray. I'm not feeling overly colorful today. I like want a color. I just don't feel like bright colors today. So, I'm just going to do all the rocks in the black and the gray. I think I got them all. And these little pictures are nice because if you don't have a lot of time to color, at least you can color something. And not feel like, you know, you spent your whole day playing with this. Um, I'm going to take a little care with the shell. Not that there's a lot of room to care about it, but I want to give it a little attention. So I'm going to go in with my... This is like a magenta e-pink. And then I'm going to layer it with a very, well, the lightest pink I have, which is number 21. I'm just find that real quick. This is why I'm saying if you plan out what you're going to do, I'd have the pencils out. It'd be a little bit quicker. I wouldn't be looking so much. But realistically, that's what we do. We look around because we don't know what we're doing. Um, now we're going to do the little seaweed bits. And I'm going to do them. Eh, I can't see. All right, here we go. I've got this green. And I'm just going to run a little color through. And I'm going to do them all the same. They're so tiny. I don't feel like we need to change them up. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit of a lighter green. And these are rather yellowy greens that I am using. I know a lot of people would probably go in here with fine liners, but I think if I have to pull out more stuff, that kind of defeats the, it's going to take this long to do because it's going to take you longer because you have to get out everything that you're trying to use. Then I'm going to go in with um, the teals, like I said, to do the background. I've got a very dark one here, so we'll get that in there. Uh, I am just going to fade out from the crab's body all around him. <laughs> I just looked up to see what time it is or how long the video has been going. And I wound up reading a text. Sorry, because it popped up right when I was looking. So, yeah, I'm at 19 minutes now. I know we're going to be able to make it under a half hour because it's just almost done now. And that's the thing too, is the pictures that I wind up deciding to use, I, I'm doing my best to think that they're going to be like, you know, a short thing, but that's something that also happens in real life is that you get stuck or you need a minute or you know, the picture was a little bit more ambitious than you thought it was. But you can always cut it off when you're doing 
your own coloring and just go back later when you have more time. But the last one I did was just a key from a Hannah Carlson practice page that she sells on Etsy. And it really didn't um, get a background or anything. And I felt, mm, I don't know, like cheating you was wrong. But I feel like it's not a completed. I didn't complete what I started. But I'm not sure how to approach. And maybe in the comments, let me know if you know of a way you'd like to be it to be done. I don't really know how to approach, like, doing a background with different materials. Because, like I said, if I'm trying to make the time really short, then technically at home for you to do it, you'd be getting up and down trying to find different supplies unless you're more fortunate than me and they're all over your desk in some way that works out really well. Um, mine aren't. They're behind me in a cabinet, so I don't have access as much. I mean, it's really, it's like three feet, but, you know, it, for video purposes, I'd have to get up and get it. Even for just making the picture, I'd have to get up and get it, and that would add time to the video as well. All right, and my hand is out of your way, thank goodness. I forgot to keep looking at the video. So now I'm just bringing the light blue, or light teal into the darker teal. Now it's not a huge difference in color, but it does add a little contrast. I'm not sure how well it's showing on camera. And in the comments also, if you know of a book that you would like to see me do, a fun size coloring out of let me know I'm I'm going to be moving around like I'm going to go back to that Hannah Carlson practice page if that's something you're interested in getting I had the link to um, where it is on Etsy in the last video and you're welcome to check that out because I will be doing more work in that but yeah I'm looking for books that you have that you'd like to see done in these little 15 to half hour videos, 15 to 30 minute videos. So there's our little crabby boy. He's not near as pastel as he looks. It's, um, it's very overcast here and I've got a lot of extra lights on him. So I'm going to do a weird thing and just turn this light off for a hot second. Yeah, there you go. He's not near as pastel as he looks. Um, so that's it for today's video. If you made it this far, stay till the very end because I had a request and we did follow through on it. So there's um, a little special ending to my video today. Have a good day and I'll see you next time. Bye. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. Yay! Now make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons and hit that little bell down there so you get notifications for when the next video comes up.